Good morning, Nick. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, first off, uh, I'm going to ask quite a direct question. Um, you've said since you come in, you haven't made too many changes. You've tried to keep it fairly similar to, to how it was working the last couple of years. But England have lost eight of the last 13 games. Do they need a bit of a change to try to get back to winning ways? I think this is a great. Uh, this game was a great opportunity for us to looking further ahead. Of course, we always step on the field to win, but that game gave us uh, some good answer what we need to improve and what has improved. Uh, so, of course, we want to win, but sometimes to or in order to go further and develop, you need uh, some games that we. Uh, just have a challenge and see how we deal with it. But England's record hasn't been great over the last couple of years. What, what do you think the problem is? So uh, it's hard to, uh, to say for me now. Uh, I think that we are on a good uh, road going forward. And since we haven't, since like it's almost 12 months since uh, the last game. So this was the first like uh, tier one uh, opposition that we face. And this game gave us some great answer, attacking wise, but also defending. England has a squad and it plays outside the squad. Lots of young, emerging, exciting talent. Is now the time to unleash them or are we going to stick with the more senior players going into this Olympic cycle? Uh, that will be a question for us after these two games to discuss uh, how the Olympic uh, squad will be. You need experienced player to win uh, something, but you also need the younger to cha challenge. So the combination is uh, important. Uh, but the experience you have leading into big major tournament is huge, but it has to be performance first. How important is this? Canada game then, because as you said, uh, they're another top class opposition uh, ahead of, well, I presume it's a huge game when it comes to you deciding you know, what the squad will be going forward. Uh, having those these two games is uh, for us as a team uh, important. Now we get to see players in, in the best uh, way we can uh, to, to see where we as a team need to be uh, improved and what we are good at. You take uh, parts of the France game that is excellent. We just need to finish our chances. And like that's the detail. It's not easy, but that's the detail we are looking for going forward. And now review the France game and see leading into Canada how we can improve in the areas that we lacked in the last game. We saw in the France game some controversial refereeing moments. We see in the Premier League all the time controversial refereeing moments. Would you like to see VAR introduced more in women's football? Would you like to see it at the Olympics? Uh, it's it's been uh, challenging also in the Premier League. You their decision made that <laughs> even with the VRA is not the right decision. Uh, there will always be opinion, and I. I feel like uh, uh, don't focus too much on that. Uh, I will like us to just uh, have a cl clean game and we all make mistakes. The referee will al also do that. But hopefully with the ERA, you can take the uh, some decision that is obvious into a positive for making the decisions right, correctly. And finally, from me, are we going to see many changes to the start of lineup for tomorrow's game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. Nice, subtle. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, are we, so is that going to be, are we going to position, are we going to see change in goal? Are we going to see sort of, you know, more players given a chance to, to, to impress? Are you going to use the full squad? Uh, yeah, we will, we will have players. Uh, it's important for us to see all the players in these two games. And that was the, 
the reason for us now to, to change up a little bit and see other players in different positions. And so, yeah, we will change uh, and hopefully see most of the squad. Thank you I'm very much, Anton. I'm looking forward to even more now. Have a good game. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Anton. Could I go next to Emma Sanders for the BBC, please? Hi, Hega. Hope you're well. Um, I just wanted to touch on what you were saying to Anton there about the, the team for, for Canada. Um, will Lucy Bronze be back? How is she, how is she doing with her injury? She stayed back at SGP uh, when we were in France. And uh, she will, we will decide after the session today uh, if she are able to play and if so, how many minutes. So that will be a discussion for us after the session today. But she, saw, she's doing better. That's good to hear. And we, we saw Lauren Hemp come on and make a, make a good impression. She's in fantastic form at the moment for club and country, it seems. Is she playing her way into Team GB contention? Yeah, she, she's a great player. I saw when I came into this job, I was watching the She Believes Cup uh, last year. And, and she was a player that impressed me uh in this level and that was her second or third cap i think so so she will improve uh, going forward she has some quality one by one uh, her fitness and strong so she she was good coming into the game as well good attitude and you said before the france game you were looking forward to spending some time with nikita paris in the squad there was a video that went around on social media afterwards of her displaying some leadership skills in, in the team huddle. Um, how impressed have you been with her so far? Well, uh, it's good to have her, to see she's been in the squad for a long time and for us to get, in, get to know her. Her passion for the game is will always be a lot of emotions. So she's a leader uh, and for us to see her like 45 minutes was decided that she was playing because a lot, many days without anything. So it will be good for us going forward as well to, to see the next game and, and to get to know her. And finally from me, can I just ask, were there any injuries picked up from the France game? Uh, no injuries, no. Great, thanks Heide, cheers. Thank you, Emma. I'll go next to Florence Lloyd-Hughes, please, for TalkSport. Hi, Hega. Um, I just wanted to ask um, what it's been like since you've taken on the role. Um, there's a lot of pressure that comes with, with managing England side across, across all their teams, and I'm sure you've seen that from being within the setup. But how has it been taking on this role also with um, you know, a major tournament on the horizon next summer that England are hosting? Have you felt pressure in this role at all? Uh, yes and no. Uh, of course, there will always be a pressure uh, leading England, a lot of expectation. Uh, but I also feel like I'm confident that we as a team can uh, turn this around and, and hopefully working on the culture, working on the structure, like slowly uh, put us in a place that we believe that we can win. And that that's... I'm more encouraged by that than to fail or <laughs> be successful myself. So I feel like I'm surrounded by great staff, uh, FA and, and the players. So I feel, of course, pressure, but also I enjoy it a lot. And do you feel like you've had enough time so far working with the team to change much? haven't had a lot of obviously international windows so what, how, how has that time been that short amount of time uh at least it challenged us to be specific uh how do we want to change what do we want to change and how quick can we get that uh, to the players and into the sessions uh i feel like we uh bits and pieces we get there uh but it's of course uh going forward, like the pre-camp leading into Olympic will be uh, really important for us to, to connect uh, the team and the staff. 
And finally, have you set any expectations with your team about how you want them to perform at the Olympic Games in terms of is there a minimum expectation of where they need to finish in the tournament? Uh, no, we haven't spoke about that. Uh, that will be uh, leading into the Olympics. Um, we have all, all the players, all the staff, and, and to really work on uh, who we are, what we want to achieve, and how we're going to achieve it. Thanks, Hager. Thank you very much, Florence. Could we go to Phil Medlicott for the Press Association? Hi, Hager. Hi. I, um, I was just going to check what exactly was the injury uh, for Lucy Bronze that, that kept her out the other night. And also, um, I was going to see how Demi Stokes was because she had an injury as well and, and she also missed out. Yeah, um, the medical will, will probably update you on Lucy and Demi. But I know now that Demi is, uh, she was in the session today, uh, yesterday, I mean. And she will be in the session today, and hopefully she's ready uh, for Canada. A few minutes. Uh, and Lucy, as I said, we need to discuss after the session today if any minutes or how many minutes. or So uh, that's the... We, yeah, and we, we, we were told it was just minor injuries. Is there any, any more you can say about specifically what the injuries were? That's a medical team. I'm not feel comfortable sharing that information. Sure. Okay. So minor <laughs> injuries. Then. Um, I, I was also just going to ask how you sort of felt about the defensive performance um, against France, given um, you know there was senior players missing, um, Steph and, and and Lucy Bronze. Um, how 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 do you feel um, they got on on that front? Well, when we review the the um, the game. It's, we also looked at how we were attacking uh, and the lack, the space that we left when we attack with that many players, uh, challenged the back four. Uh, so we were talking about how we can position the two central midfielder to be more uh, supportive if we lose the ball. So that's the discussion, not, uh, so the whole team defend and how quickly do we get from attack to defend is more that we spoke about that uh, only the back line, uh, yeah. So team, team effort in changing the transition from attack to defend. Okay, thanks, cheers. Thank you very much, Phil. If we do get an update on injuries, I shall send it to the, uh, to the group chat um, a little later today. Um, can I go next to as if Burren for Forbes, please? Hi, Hag. I hope you are. Um, can I ask? Um, do, do you plan to use all the members of, the, of your squad who didn't play against France on Friday? They can, for instance, um, the two of our cap players maybe turn them in. They will be expected to make their debuts or something like that. Sorry, as if we couldn't really hear your question because of the uh, the quality of your internet. I think. Could you try to repeat? Okay. No. Um, could, could I just ask him, um, do you plan to use all, mem all the members of this? Can you hear me now? I think, I think we have enough of the question, if I may paraphrase. Um, is, is Heger planning to use all of her squad <clears throat> over the course of these two games? We uh, plan to use uh, players, almost the whole squad. Uh, for these two games, yes, we have <clears throat> we have seen the performance against France. We have a good idea how we're going to perform against Canada, and to have uh, new players coming in or even uh, or start or sub in for our for us to win the game. Uh, but we will see almost every player, uh, yes. Last question, please, from Dan Pentland for WSL Full Time Magazine. Morning, Hager. Hope you're well. Um, obviously, Canada had a very good win on Friday, a very strong attacking performance. Um, have you had chance to review that game? And you know, what do you think they'll have a similar threat? I suppose you know when they play you tomorrow night. 
of course, we uh, we haven't seen the whole game, but we, we our support staff, analyze team have seen and review the game and and give us a lot of information. And also, Rian, she knows a lot about them. So I feel like we are well prepared for a game. Mm. They have also a strong team with uh, lots of pace in in some areas, uh, some positioning. So I feel like we can meet some of the same threat that France gave us, that we need to balance our defensive shape into attacking and how we can develop our <clears throat> attack more, but also in the transition to be able to handle all the tr transitions that we had against France. Thanks, Edgar. That's great. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. We'll move now into the embargoed section, please. Um, so.